I always see people saying that YouTube is too saturated now. It happens pretty much every year. And I see even more people say that gaming on YouTube is saturated. So is it too late to start a YouTube gaming channel in 2019 or should you go ahead and do it? That's what we're going to be answering in this video. So let's get into it. I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com teaching you how to be better. I've been able to grow my YouTube gaming channel to over 30,000 subscribers and I'm currently averaging over 400,000 views per month. But the fact is I am an entrepreneur first and the most important thing is that I'm able to create a full-time income from my creative endeavors on YouTube and my businesses elsewhere connected to my YouTube channel. And that is what I want to teach you to be able to do too. I want you to be able to chase your passions and actually make money from it. So is it too late for you to start a YouTube gaming channel in 2019? The short answer is no, but honestly, it's never that black and white. If we're being real, it's never just yes or no. It really depends on what you're trying to do. If you want to start a low effort Let's Play channel where all you do is upload Let's Plays of you playing Minecraft like this is 2013, then chances are your channel's not gonna be successful. It's too late for you. <laughs> yes, it's too late for you to start out on YouTube because YouTube is saturated with that sort of low effort crap content already. If you want to stand out on YouTube, you really need to know what you're doing and you need to be making content that people actually want. But if you're not doing that, then it doesn't matter what year you started out on YouTube you probably wouldn't have found success anyways. But on the flip side, every year people complain about YouTube being too saturated. And every year people that you have never even heard of find success on the platform. But what people focus on is they focus on the super top tier YouTubers with millions of views and millions of subscribers, the people that go viral, the people that seem to have blow up overnight. Those are the people that most people from the outside focus their attentions on. They're not thinking about the working Joe, the average Joe like me who's pumping out content or the average Joe like a guy who's creating a YouTube channel around fixing cars or around building cupboards and carpentry or something. There are people who are dominating their niches but if you're outside of that niche, no one really knows who you are. And you can make a full-time income from that if you know what you're doing. There are people who are interested in pretty much anything. If you find something and you're like, okay, I'm really, really interested in that, you can pretty much make a YouTube channel around it. But we're talking about gaming specifically. If you focus on one game, especially if you focus on an early access game or a game that's not a super AAA title that everyone's playing, it's not hard to build a community around that. And it's not hard to build a following by just focusing down on one game and consistently putting out content around it. But that's not what most people do. Most people, they try to play like seven games. They try to play every game that they ever had the opportunity to purchase. They, and they just fling up a bunch of videos on their channel. And it's generally let's play videos or low value content that's not really doing anything for anyone. So people don't watch them. And that is generally what happens. And those are the type of people that you'll see saying, it's too saturated on YouTube, it's too hard. As I said before, those people are usually just looking at the platform thinking, okay, I can never be those guys in the top 10 lists that are posted online and that sort of stuff. But that shouldn't be your focus. You absolutely can succeed on YouTube in 2019 with a gaming channel. It is possible, it is definitely possible but you really have to want it. You can't be half-hearted. If you're half-hearted and you kind of want to start a YouTube channel, then it might not work out for you. It's unlikely that everything's gonna go great for you. It may do, but most likely you're gonna be one of those people 
who upload seven videos, don't see the views that they want and then quit. There's so many channels out there, yeah, that upload about three videos and never upload again because those videos just didn't get as many views as they wanted it to. But then those people stop themselves from actually learning how to use the platform and seeing what works and what doesn't. You need to be able to get through that and get past the hurdles of starting out on YouTube. The people who would have quit in 2015 are the same people who will quit in 2019. It really doesn't matter what year it is. The fact is YouTube is hard, it is a grind. If you're not prepared for that, then you're not prepared to start a channel. The thing is, in order to succeed on YouTube, you need to learn new skills and adapt to the current landscape of the content being put out on YouTube. And not everyone is cut out for this type of work. Not everyone is cut out for this journey. But if you play the long game and you follow the principles that I've basically been spouting and preaching in my over 100 videos here on my YouTube channel, then you will be safe from the future because you'll be using the foundational principles that are behind every YouTube channel that will keep you being successful for time to come. If you focus on building that base and just working hard and putting out content that's going to do well over time, you're putting out a lot of evergreen content, then you won't ever have to worry about your channel dying or YouTube changing its platform so much that it really negatively affects you. And I've got a free course linked down below that will teach you more about this. It will teach you more about the method that I use to get over 30,000 subscribers on my channel and to be averaging 400,000 views per month. Honestly, I don't even need to put out another video and I'd still be getting like 10,000 subscribers per year without even putting out another video because I've created a foundation for my channel with a lot of evergreen content that people are finding every single day that people will continue coming back for to learn how to do this, to know how to do that to follow this tutorial to do that. So I've made myself future proof and that's what I want to teach you how to do. And I'm going to be making a few more videos on around, you know, how to get more views, how to get more subscribers, how to build your YouTube channel from zero to a thousand, you know, that sort of stuff, because I really want to get you through this journey to get you where you need to be in order to succeed at running a YouTube gaming channel. If you just try to follow trends or skate by, then you're not gonna build a long lasting YouTube channel and your channel will eventually die out. So again, that course link down below, you can go to growonyoutube.com forward slash 20K SEO. I highly suggest you sign up to that. It's completely free. And if you sign up to that, you'll also be added to my list where I'm sending out daily free emails teaching you multiple aspects around growing your YouTube channel, making more money online, getting more views, growing your community, all that sort of lovely stuff that you would love to learn about. So definitely go and grab that and subscribe here if you don't wanna miss out on the future videos. But I did upload a video earlier this year on my best advice for new YouTubers in 2019. So if you're thinking about starting a new YouTube channel or you've just started your new YouTube channel and you need some direction to go in, go and check out that video. I really hope I'm pointing in the right direction because I don't know how this is gonna be when it flips, but <laughs> go and check out that video. That will teach you basically a lot of what you need to know and it'll put you miles ahead of most people starting out their YouTube channels. But there's more. Before I go, I want to leave you with a free strategy that you can go and implement right about now if you're starting a YouTube channel that will help you see some results basically and stop wasting your time doing things that don't work. So here's what you wanna do. Make 30 tutorials around one game that you're playing and upload those to YouTube. Use the free course that I mentioned, growonyoutube.com forward slash 20K SEO to get those videos to actually rank on YouTube and hopefully rank number one on YouTube. That will bring you a bunch of views and subscribers. And then the third step I want you to do is to basically comment down below on these videos or any of my future videos and continually let us know your progress. So use this as an accountability buddy so it keeps you on track every week let us know how many videos you've uploaded what your results are 
and continue going. Once you've uploaded the 30 videos, you should be able to see that you're going in the right direction and then that should spur you to go to 50 or 100 and then you can start trying out some different strategies to start building that community. But when you start out, when you start out, the most important thing is the exposure. That's what everyone wants. They want the views and they want to be able to get more subscribers and you only get subscribers if you get the views. Doing this will get you the views way more than uploading 500 videos on of a let's play on a game that everyone's already played through. Trust me, <laughs> this will work for you and please use it and let me know how it's going for you in the comment section down below. It'd be very interesting to see your progress. So I hope this video has helped you out. Thanks for liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next YouTube guide and please share this video with anyone who's thinking about starting a YouTube gaming channel in 2019. This will really help them out. Peace out. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you